Hello, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make a lip sync animation in Blender. Let's get started. What if you could turn your wildest ideas into 3D reality right now? With Blender, the powerful and free 3D software, you can create stunning characters, worlds, and animations. Yes, it can feel overwhelming at first, but not anymore. This course simplifies everything, from modeling, animation, texturing and rigging to sculpting, and even Blender 4.4's latest features like geometry nodes and the asset browser. Step by step, you'll build real skills through clear, hands-on tutorials and free downloadable files. In just weeks, you'll bring shapes to life, control lighting, and add motion to your creations. So stop wondering where to begin, start making things that make people say, wow, you made that? Your 3D journey begins now. This course is available now on Wingfox, a platform packed with professional training for artists and creators. You'll find the course link right below in the video description. Ready to start your 3D journey? Click the link and begin creating with Blender today. In the previous tutorial, we used Blender's lip sync add-on with shape keys to animate mouth movements based on audio. While that method worked well, it had one big limitation. We couldn't synchronize teeth, tongue, or jaw movements properly, which made the result feel a bit unrealistic. In this tutorial, we'll take things further by using the lip sync add-on in pose mode. This allows us to animate not just the lips, but also the jaw, teeth, and tongue by creating custom facial poses and assigning them to each visomy. If you'd like to see how the shape key method works, feel free to check out the previous video before diving in. In this tutorial, I'll be using the free rain character from Blender Studio. The character comes fully rigged and ready to animate. I've included the download link in the description below. Now let's set up the add-on we'll be using for lip sync animation. The lip sync add-on comes built into Blender, so you don't need to download anything from an external website. To install it, go to the edit menu and open preferences. Then switch to the get extensions tab, search for lip sync and install the add-on. The installation process may take some time. Blender will automatically download and install it in the background. Once it's ready, press N to open the right-hand side panel and you'll see a new lip sync tab there. This add-on allows you to automatically match your character's mouth movements to audio. It analyzes the sound file and creates mouth poses that correspond to different speech sounds or phonemes. This way, you don't need to manually animate each mouth shape one by one. It supports over 25 language models. You can choose the one that fits your project. Here, we'll select US English, and the speech model will start downloading automatically. This add-on works with 3D shape keys, 2D sprite-based mouth shapes, and also with pose mode. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to use it with shape keys. In this video, we'll explore how it works in pose mode. First, switch to object mode and select your character's rig. Then go to the lip sync panel and click add lip sync on selection. Make sure to set the animation type to pose assets. This means the add-on will use the pose library to animate the lip sync instead of shape keys. In this tutorial, we'll also learn how to create facial poses in pose mode, save them to the asset browser, and reuse them when assigning visemas. A visemi is the visual representation of a sound. In other words, how the mouth looks when pronouncing a specific phoneme. For example, when making the M sound, the lips are closed. For the O sound, the lips are rounded. Now we'll create a pose for each visomy and link them to the correct visomy slots in the lip sync add-on. First, let's create a folder on your computer where we'll save our pose assets. I'm going to create a folder on my desktop called Mouth Poses. Now go back to Blender. Go to Edit, Preferences, then click on the File Paths tab. Under Asset Libraries, click the plus icon and add the folder we just created. Don't forget to open the menu in the lower left corner and click Save Preferences. Next, switch the Timeline Editor to Asset Browser. Here, you can see existing assets like brushes and hair systems. Now, open the menu and select the Mouth Poses library we just added. As you can see, it's currently empty. We'll now start creating a separate mouth pose for each vice me and save them into this library. 
Now let's switch to pose mode. To make things easier, we'll simplify the rig so that only the facial controls are visible. Go to the Object Data Properties tab and scroll down to the Bone Collections section. Here, click the eye icons to hide all bone collections except for those related to the face. Make sure to keep the following collections visible. Face, face secondary, teeth and tongue. This will help us focus only on the bones needed for lip sync animation. Now let's start creating the mouth poses for each visomy. The sil visomy usually stands for silence, a moment when no sound is being made. So for this one, we won't make any changes to the lips. Press A to select the entire rig. Then go to the asset menu and click create pose asset from the selected bones. Name this pose sil. Next, choose the asset library we created earlier and click create. Select the all asset in this library. As you can see, the pose asset now appears in our library. To keep our pose assets organized, let's assign a thumbnail image to each one. First, go to the outliner and click the eye icon to temporarily hide the rig. Then press numpad 1 to switch to front view so we can clearly see the character's face. Now, select the pose asset and press N to open the right-hand panel. In the preview section, click the arrow icon, then choose Capture Screenshot. Make sure the character's face is nicely framed in the viewport and take the screenshot. As you can see, a thumbnail has now been added to the sill pose. Now we'll assign this sill pose to the lip sync add-on. Simply select the pose from the list and connect it to the matching vice me in the add-on. Now let's create a pose asset for the P sound and assign it to the corresponding vice seam. First, go to the outliner and make the rig visible again by clicking the eye icon. Look at your reference image to guide the pose. For the P visme, the lips should be completely closed, pressed tightly together. To create this, select the green mouth master control. Press S, then Z to scale it along the Z axis, pushing the lips together. Then, rotate the upper and lower lip roll bones slightly inward along the X axis to give the lips a natural folded look. Once you're happy with the pose, press A to select the entire rig. Go to the Asset menu and click Create Pose Asset. Name the new asset PP and save it inside your pose library. Now let's add a thumbnail. Select the PP pose and go to the right panel. In the preview section, click the arrow icon and choose Capture Screenshot. Frame the face in the viewport and take the snapshot. Finally, select this P pose from the list and assign it to the P Visim in the lip sync add-on. Now let's pose the mouth for the F Viseme using the reference image as a guide. In this pose, the upper teeth lightly touch the lower lip. The mouth is not too open and you should clearly see the teeth pressing against the lip. This pose is used for both the F and V sounds. The key detail here is the visible contact between the teeth and the lip. First, double-click on the sill pose we created earlier to bring the mouth back to its neutral position. Now, let's make the facial rig controls visible in the viewport and start posing. Select the lower lip roll bone and gently rotate it inward on the x-axis to curl the lower lip slightly. Then, select the lower lip master bone. Move it slightly backward and a bit down on the z-axis to slightly open the lips. In the bone collections, click the star icon to isolate only the teeth bones. Press Z to switch to wireframe view and select the bones that control the upper teeth. Switch back to solid view, then move the upper teeth slightly forward and down so they touch the lower lip. Once you're happy with the pose, click the star icon again to unhide the other bones. Press A to select the entire rig. Go to the asset menu and click create pose asset. Name the new asset FF and save it inside your pose library. Select the F pose and go to the right panel. In the preview section, click the arrow icon and choose Capture Screenshot. Frame the face in the viewport and take the snapshot. Finally, select this F pose from the list and assign it to the F visomy in the lip sync add-on. Now let's pose the mouth for the TH visomy using the reference image. First, 
double-click on the sill pose to bring the mouth back to its neutral position. In the TH Vaismi, the tip of the tongue slightly comes out between the upper and lower teeth. This pose represents the TH sound in words like think or this. The mouth is slightly open and the tongue is clearly visible sticking out. First, select the jawbone and slightly rotate it on the x-axis. Then, select the lower lip bone and move it down just a little. Next, select the left lip corner bone and enable X symmetry so we can pose both sides at once. Gently move the bone slightly outward and inward. In the bone collection panel, click the star icon to isolate only the tongue bone and hide the others. Now, move the tongue forward so it sits between the upper and lower teeth. In the same way, create a pose asset named TH and take a snapshot. Assign it to the TH Viseme in the lip sync add-on. I don't want to make the tutorial too long, so I'll finish by posing the A Viseme. You can create the remaining ones by following the same approach shown in this tutorial. The A Viseme represents the A sound. In this Viseme, the mouth opens wide and noticeably. The lower jaw drops significantly and the tongue rests freely at the bottom of the mouth. Visually, this Vaismi shows that the character is producing a strong and open sound. It's one of the most open mouth positions in speech. For this pose, you can simply rotate the jawbone along the x-axis to create an open mouth position. In the same way, you can create the new pose asset, take a screenshot and assign the pose in the lip sync add-on. After posing each Vaismi one by one and assigning them to the corresponding slots in the lip sync add-on, we can move on to the bake sound process. Now we need a sound file that will sync with the character's mouth movements. I created mine using a text-to-speech app, but you can record your own voice or use any other audio file. To import the sound into Blender, switch the asset browser to Video Sequencer. Click Add then choose the audio file from your computer. Press the spacebar to play and Hello, preview the sound. Hello, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make a lip sync animation in Blender. Next, we move on to baking the audio. First, open the animation settings panel. This panel lets you control how the visimis, mouth shapes, sync with the sound and how the animation is baked. I'll enable the Prioritize Accuracy option. This makes the add-on choose the most accurate Vicemes based on the sound. The result is a more realistic lip sync, but it may add more keyframes and create slightly sharper transitions. The Lip Close Duration setting controls how quickly the mouth closes after a voiced sound. If there's silence between visumes, the add-on automatically adds a closed mouth shape. We won't go too deep into these settings. Now open the Bake panel and click the Bake Audio button. This analyzes the sound and creates keyframes for each visami, making your character speak in sync with the audio. Let's play the animation and check the result. Hello, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make a lip sync animation in Blender. Let's get started. The result looks pretty good. To make the animation feel Hello, even more natural, you can add blinking and subtle head we'll movements. Learn how to make a lip sync animation in Blender. Let's get started. Thanks for watching. Hello, to if you found channel. this tutorial in helpful, this tutorial, don't we'll forget to subscribe to and leave a like. See you Let's in the next tutorial.